So the question really is that can you build can you build an EVM that is completely completely safe now in this video I would like to show you how an EVM can never be built that is safe so it's not a question of trusting someone but there are inherent problems in the way computers work which makes this completely unsafe and to do this uh, what I have done is I have actually built a working EVM uh, uh, by looking at how the regular EVMs operate. So first thing we do is we press the clear button uh, in which case the, the, the results are cleared and now I can show you the results here. So A is 0, B is 0, C is 0 and D is 0. So now we can start polling and I will press the ballot button here and it says go here you see this this presses go and I press a uh, then it turns to ok again then I press ballot another go and this time I press B so now a has got one vote and B has got one vote and when I press the results button it will show that a has got one vote B has got one vote C has got zero votes and D has got zero votes right so this is how the EVM works and this functionality of EVM is tested out about 50 times before the EVM is deployed into the field for actual polling but now let me say that I am here going to do a whole new series of polling so uh, what I am going to do is that there are four people standing in the queue to poll and one polls B candidate B the other will poll candidate A and the third will poll candidate D and the final one will poll the winning candidate so let's see how this works so now for instance the polling officer says all right let's go so you say go and somebody presses B that, that's B then somebody presses then the next vote goes to A right uh, done then the next vote goes to D who do you think should win this let's imagine that we would like the candidate C to win which is this candidate so the fourth vote will go to C after the first three votes had gone to B A D right now let's look at the results A is 0 B is 0 C has won with 10 votes and D is 0 again right now how did this happen so for this we will now have to switch to the software part of it so here I will I will I'll put on the left hand side a software part of it so uh, I'm although all the software that I've used to build this machine is available but I would like you to just concentrate on these four lines so if you see the first line it says that if the the button A is pressed low then the votes for A++ are incremented good uh, similarly with B uh, the votes for B++ plus plus, uh, plus plus means increment here and C and when you press the button C then votes of C are incremented and D D are incremented but on the other hand you see here what we have done is I'm also keeping track of the fourth last third last second last and the last vote cast so if the fourth last the fourth third and the second last uh, votes that were cast here were let me actually completely share the screen with you once more hang on so see here now if the fourth last was b third last was a second last was d then first thing that i do here is i make all these votes zero i do I, just to keep things simple i could have as well redistributed the votes uh, so as to not arouse any suspicions and whatever was the last vote polled i am putting them as 10 here so uh, now this is in the software of this machine and we do not know whether there was these are called trojans or backdoors into the software we do not know whether the the machine that we are using here uh, a machine like this 
has any trojan in it or not the reason for that is that this guy here the microprocessor which holds the software and the data you cannot verify what's inside it uh, for, in, uh, for instance you can take a packet of grains and see whether the grain is fine or not etc but uh, here the software and the data are stored as electrical pulses and there is no way to externally verify them from outside which is why we never know how many backdoors will there be in any EVM which is based on a chip and as a result we can never be sure now even if someone does point us out and shows this entire software what is the guarantee that the entire software that we see here is the software which is actually present in the EVM that you're using there is no way to know which is why the EVMs cannot really be trusted at all unless there is a full manual verification now there is an other problem with the with the paper trail which is that if these results are being changed here you could also program these buttons to print the paper trail of the extra votes that any of these this combination of switches may result from and there is no way to know that on the paper trail so i hope that this is this clears up the entire problem and the issues with the avian thank you so much for watching